So Usher syndrome is an inherited deaf blindness disorder that has, often has an associated vestibular or balance problem. It's autosomal recessive, which means that um, you have to inherit the mutant gene from both of your parents. It is more prevalent in some populations. So one in particular is the Ashkenazi Jewish population, but there are other populations. There's a Finnish population that has ushers, the Evangeline um, Nova Scotia population is another one, um, and then particular populations where you see a lot of consanguineous marriages. So if where that is not culturally a taboo, you often get this. So we're at the very beginning, we're becoming part of this clinical study. And by we, I mean uh, myself and two colleagues from the New York area. What we're doing is establishing another site for this clinical study. And that is the Helen Keller uh, National Center for Deaf Blindness. The Helen Keller Institute is a um, training center where hundreds of people from all over the United States go to get trained in life skills, basically. And about 30% of them have Usher syndromes. There are three different types called Usher's 1, 2, and 3. The, the disorders turn out to be, firstly, because there are so many genes involved, they're genetically very heterogeneous and also clinically. The age of onset for the different um, loss of hearing, loss of vision, the night blindness. It, it's very heterogeneous. So what the goal is, is to define how much variability in this clinical presentation do you have for any particular specific genetic alteration. So what that means is, is they want to have very clear um, analysis of the clinical presentation and the life history of individuals who are affected with this and then also take a blood sample and figure out exactly what the mutant alteration is that they're carrying and the long-term purpose is to correlate their clinical presentation with the exact mutation that they have. And the importance of that is that if you are going to try to develop treatments, you have to know what the normal variation is without the treatment, in other words, the control, before you can tell whether or not your treatment is actually having an impact. So that's really the goal. It's not treatment, this is not cure. This is very basic understanding of what they call natural history. Mm -hmm.